I'm Roger. And I'm Adam. And welcome to another episode of RC Street Shop's Product of the Week. Yes. That time already. It always is. So last week we talked uh, about, rock, the actual, right. about the actual right. rock crawling in right. general, and then we got a brand new rock racer in. Right. And everyone's been kind of all excited about this it. This thing is pretty cool. Originally when it came out, I wasn't all that excited about it, because I figured, oh, it's just another axial. Like another Yeti yeah, or something yeah. like that. But this thing is really cool, and we've been really impressed with the products that Axial has been releasing lately with the Yeti Trophy Truck, mm. the Yeti itself. Yep. Uh, and now they are our 10 bomber. This thing is super cool. Essentially, it looks like it, what they've done is it's pretty much like a, like a Wraith chassis with the XO rear end and the Wraith front end on it. Now it's not exactly the same parts, but it's, yeah. it's kind of, that's what it looks like to us is that they kind of took the, the big four link off the, uh, off the, the, uh, the Yeti and the nice sturdy front end from the, uh, from the, Wraith and stuck them together on a rock racer, and they've done a really good job. It's a very good looking car. Not only that, as you can see here, uh, and we're showing you in the video, is just how extreme the articulation, articulation is. I mean, yeah, you can pick it up. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. I mean, it's you could literally put a fist underneath this right here, and it's still touching the ground. Yeah, still touching mm -hmm. the ground. This is going to be this is going to be a great rock racer and a great crawler too. Okay, and that brings up out of the box. It is set up for racing. Right, I believe they, they, they classify it as a rock racer. And it, they uh, say it's a two-speed transmission. Right. And out of the box to set up for racing, if you want to gear it down so that... You can do it, it for crawling, yeah. Yeah, you, you're in theory supposed to buy the other kit. And pop right, this is essentially, it has the same trans as the uh, as the Yeti. So, I mean, you got to kind of think of it as from here back, it's all Yeti. Um, so, with a brushless system in it, it's going to be fast. That's the other thing is this is a brushed motor in here, so... It's not going to be quite as fast as, say, a Yeti's going to be out of the box, mm -hmm. but it still should be reasonably good. And uh, with the brush system, it should be a really good crawler because even with the higher gear ratio, you should still have pretty pretty smooth response for crawling and things like that. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, the aesthetics of this are based on an actual real-world uh, vehicle. The, the Walker Evans Racing Team uses this. The Bomber Fabrication Company? Bomber Fabrication Company, right. Does does the actual build-out. Right. Right. This is basically this is based off of the King of the Hammers car. King of the Hammers is a race out in the California desert where it's kind of a combination of rock crawling and just all out speed over the desert mm. where these people take these things and they just go insane speeds over the desert and they gotta go climb rocks and all kinds of different stuff. And this is a Hammers car that has uh light axles front and rear. There's two schools of thought in the racing. There's guys who run independent suspension, there's mm -hmm. guys that run lost solid axles, and that's if you want to learn about that, go Google it. Go Google but it. This is essentially right. This is essentially uh, a solid axle hammers car. What it is, mm -hmm. and there's a few things out there. Like the, I think uh, Vatera has a hammers car too, and then the Yeti is essentially like a different version of a King of the Hammers car. So it's all that. Yeah, that's kind of what this class is. What this is based off of. That's what the real world car does. But this thing. Should make a good crawler, good rock race. It should do a bunch of stuff really well. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we, you know, we spent yesterday kind of fondling it. We didn't actually get a chance <laughs> to run it. Um, but, uh, it, the, yeah, again, the fit and finish is really nice on yeah. this. Uh, it's got a couple of neat design elements. So, out of the gate, this, like we were talking last week, this right. is also a front mounted battery mount. But this is interesting. This opens up, and then you just basically slide it in here. That is an awesome fact that the hood opens on this yeah. to hold the battery in there. Another scale nerd uh, moment for me. I mean, I'm totally nerding out over the fact that that opens. And the rear tire comes off. And this kind of harkens over back to the Yeti that we did the video on. The Yeti has a real spare tire. This has a real spare tire. It's so cool. You're not going to like you're going to get a flat tire on this, but it's just cool. But you have an extra tire back there. It's just yeah, awesome. Yeah, just that they went through the thought of making it so it can come out. And it, you know, right. It, 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 I mean, it just like adds to the realism. Yeah, it, it, it does. Right. You know uh, that if they did this, they were sweating the details. Yes, and yeah. speaking of details, I mean, you look in here, you can see, you know, again, the, the axle's been pretty right. good about keeping uh, drivers that look like full bodies in right. there. Right, it has a little GPS sticker. I mean, it's, it's just, yeah. yeah. really well done. Uh, waterproof electronics, water-resistant, mm -hmm. technically. Right. Rushed motor. In Not there. a submarine. Not a submarine. Um, also, what else comes in the box? We get a controller. So this Traffic is, radio, right. 
Ready to go, but you will have to provide your own battery and your own charger. Right. That is not included. Right. On to the technical bits. Yes. Uh, this is a 2.2 truck. As you can see, it's got the big 2.2 tires and wheels. And if you were paying attention last week, you know this is a size Roger favors. I do love it. I love the big tires. I love big the look. Yeah. Right. They're run you over. The traction, yeah. everything. 2.2 is awesome. Uh, also, uh, these are Baja TA uh, with KR2, the yeah, yeah, scale the license bridge. tires. Yep. Uh, like everything, uh, yeah. King King shocks, oil filled shocks. Right, King oil filled shocks. This also has the uh, this uses the AR sixty axles from what originally came on the Wraith, then they were also on the Yeti and then the Yeti Trophy truck. So most of the stuff we're seeing also on the recent versions of the uh, the AX ten. So we're seeing these axles a lot, and they're nice, big, beefy axles, and they are meant to be beefy from the the uh, originally from the Wraith. So as you can see, this car has a lot of nice components on it. And it's going to make a fantastic truck, and I can't wait to drive one. Yeah, yeah we were both like, this is really nice. Um, I, I, it's a solid, full roll cage body. Right, that's yeah. another cool thing is the roll cage on the body. Yeah, um, and I love the panels. I mean, I'm again, this is based on a real-world design, but I love the, the fact that, you know, it's got the blue in here, and then I like the blueprint. Right, no, no, it's, the, a, the it's a beautiful truck. Yeah. It really is a very good-looking truck. Um, looks like a lot of fun. Uh, people have been, I've been seeing, hearing people ask about it already. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, hmm, all right. Yep. Yeah. Before this year is over, we're going to have to start rock crawling, I think. I know. Look for a Roger and Admiral rock crawling video. Yes. So we're, we're hoping to make that happen sometime this year. That, yeah. that ought to be fun. Yeah. So, are you listening, Axio? Well, uh, we just got these in. Uh, literally, this just showed up on uh, Friday, I think. And it's been out right. for about a month. We were a little slow to get it in right. there, but uh, it's here now. So, come by and see it. If folks want to do just that, come by and see it. How can they do that? Where can they do that? RC Street Shop, 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. Hey, that's where we're at. But. That's a, what a coincidence. I know. A Listen, hobby shop on a hobby shop. I know. Uh, if folks uh, can't make it in because they live, they're geographically challenged and well, can't come to Southern California, we feel sorry for you. Um, can they get a hold of us some other they way? They certainly can. How so? 562-425-9000. That's our telephone number. Pick it up and give us a call. Oh, boy. Uh, we are also doing the social media thing. We are on Twitter. RC Street Shop, all one word, and we are doing the Facebook thing as well. Uh, we post all our new content there uh, to both places, really, so check them out, follow, like, do whatever it is you do. We also have the YouTube channel, obviously you're watching this video right now, so be sure to like it, and more importantly, be sure to subscribe! subscribe! Go on, hit that subscribe button, we do appreciate it. Um, let us know what you're liking, let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in future videos. And I think that's going to do it for a product of the week video. It is. All right. Well, we'll see you next week, folks. Sweet, guys.